Flipping homes can be a great way to make some fast cash, but it's not for the faint of heart. Repairs can end up costing thousands more than expected, and home prices can quickly take a turn for the worse. Even in the best of circumstances, it's a big gamble. Today on Ready, Set, Renovate, we meet a young couple who puts their luck to the test. When Florida real estate appraiser Zach Mitchell decided to join his friends for a fun weekend in Las Vegas, he didn't expect to meet Jenny Cunningham. I'm from a tiny little town called Mullingar in Ireland, and I was in college for finance, which I despised, but I was doing it because, you know, you have to pick something in college. And then for my 21st birthday, I was like, let's go to Vegas. And then I met Zach, and here we are. Did you think you'd be together five years later? No. No. Definitely, Definitely not. not. <laughs> a year after she met Zach, Jenny moved to the U.S. It seems she and her horse Bingo might have brought the luck of the Irish with them. When the couple launched their business a few years ago, they began flipping houses and have made a profit on every one. I know what makes this work. It's because we're totally different. Like, he's so reserved and doesn't want to make, like, quick decisions. And sometimes in real estate, you have to make, like, these quick decisions. Whereas I'm more like, let's go, go, go. And he's more like, no, no, no. So we meet in the middle. And it actually yeah. works great. I like that. I have to rein her in a lot. Yeah, and I have to push you. Yeah. I'm like, go, buy the house. And that's it's really true. it. Their next project is this 1,200-square-foot home built in 1980. They purchased it for $90,000 and have comparable sale prices in the $150,000 range. This one actually came as a lead on our website. Um, and he's an out-of-state seller. It was actually the son of the, of the owner. Um, I think his dad ended up retiring up to be closer to the family. Okay. Um, so he needed a, an easy exit. He couldn't be down here worrying about selling the property. Um, so he called us and asked, you know, if we could pay the number that he was looking for. I, I told, we came out and looked at it, said, you know, we can do that. If they're able to stay within their ten dollars to $15,000 renovation budget, this flip could be a huge win. One of the bigger expenses will be all new flooring. This, this is one of those mystery floors. I've never seen one like yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? It's tile. Um, yeah. Again, I wanted to keep it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he literally walked in here and was like, Perfect. Oh, this is great. <laughs> nice top floor. And I was like, no, 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 no. We're going in completely wrong direction here. <laughs> You're actually going to lay flooring on top of this, which for viewers at home, it can save a lot of money yeah, if absolutely. it's okay to do that. Saves a lot of money on demo and uh, like, you know, a lot of the floors, you got to get the concrete perfect so that you don't have any bumps or anything like that. Right. With this, you just do a, an underlayment and then right on top of that. And it's a... It's a thinner product, so you don't worry about transitions into the bedrooms where the carpet is and everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's a vinyl plank, so you can go in wet areas, and it looks like brand new wood flooring. Really good. As usual, there was a bit of debate over how to handle the kitchen. I thought, ooh, let's keep this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was not happy about keeping it. Honestly, when you do the kitchen, it makes the biggest difference in a house. Yeah. Like you walk in, and everyone just gets so excited, and then. When you do a proper design, it just makes people happy, so I yeah. have to do it. We're doing the nice shaker white cabinets, keep it bright, and then I want to do the quartz countertops, that's um, the marble look. It's actually not that expensive, so, and then I want to do the hexagon um, backsplash. I didn't realize expensive. we were doing a backsplash. Well, <laughs> we are, and like, it's not even a big space, so it's not even going to be like that expensive, and it's going to look really good. We're going to replace the dishwasher. I don't want to keep the stove, obviously. I want to put in a I nice do. stainless steel stove. And then obviously the refrigerator. Everything's literally going. It's going to be brand new. Yeah, the walls, really uh, pretty much all that stain. Um, it will look completely different. They'll spend about $6,000 giving the kitchen a complete overhaul and use the remaining budget on upgrades throughout the rest of the house. Floors are going to be the next uh, biggest expense, and then probably paint, and yeah. then um, doors. Yeah, the doors and Light fixtures. vanities. It's everything cosmetic. So yeah. pretty much everything visual. We're not doing, the plumbing was done um, just a couple of years ago. So all the major components, AC is good. Uh, I think the roof is eight to 10 years old. So that's good as well. So it's really just everything you see visually. In the home's two bathrooms, they'll update the main components, but save money by glazing the old tile. 
We'll do a new vanity. Yeah. Uh, new faucet. Are we replacing the mirror? Yeah, let's do a new mirror. Put the 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 new light fixture. Yeah. Same floors will come in. Yeah, final. And then what? I think we have some caulking and a little bit of grout work, and then we'll get it reglazed. And new fixture. New fixture. Just not finding out. All right. Everything new. Everything's new. Perfect. Outside, they'll remove the hurricane shutters to let more light into the house. Hurricane shutters that will be coming out, they've become just wasps' nests. They've been uh, up there for a while, yeah. it looks like, yeah. yeah. They've decided to leave the lawn as is. Since it's large and resodding would push them way over budget, they'll fertilize and trim what's here and hopefully have a little money left to add some colorful flowers. With the goal of completing the renovation in just 10 days, there's no time to waste. Zach and his construction team dig into the kitchen demo, removing the cabinets and countertops with no trouble. But when all the appliances are out, they realize their progress is on hold. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. You got a nasty surprise behind that dishwasher. Yeah, uh, to be expected, um, but there was some mold back there. There must have been a leak in the past. And, right. you know, obviously behind the cabinets wasn't really visible until we took those out. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hart from Ready, Set, Renovate, here today with my good friend Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Tat, you're always bringing us great information, but today you have great deals. We do. We have a great deal today. Thanks to one of our manufacturers, they're giving us a tremendous upgrade opportunity for everyone who moves forward with a window project and moves forward with an energy efficient glass pack. They're going to upgrade it at no additional charge with a free sound and security glass pack. So it's a tremendous value. If we call now, we can still have time to get installed for this season. Associates today in Ocala, Florida, and we're seeing something absolutely fascinating. The majority of the impact glass in the state of Florida is produced right here. Yeah, right here in Ocala, Florida, is the is it's like the birthplace of impact glass here. Right, we're actually seeing this machine right behind us infuse the argon glass into the impact window, right? Yeah, this is where the energy efficiency comes from. Once you have the laminated glass, which is the impact protection, the hurricane protection, goes into this chamber, gets filled with the argon gas, and then comes out a sealed unit. These are custom window systems. It's one of the great products that Florida Home Improvement Associates distributes. And in fact, you install so many windows and you have such a great relationship with custom window systems that you have your very own line here that's being made in the factory. Yeah, that was pretty cool to see this huge facility and how many people work here and how many windows they distribute throughout the year. And to see our own dedicated lines just for the folks we get to meet and the folks we get to help throughout the year. Uh, it's pretty impressive, their dedication to the service for our companies. We appreciate it. It's a good relationship for you, too, because you can build the best window ever known to man, but if it isn't installed correctly, it doesn't It doesn't matter. Yeah, we've really worked really well together over the last decade and more. Um, they've always had innovative products, not only just from a hurricane protection standpoint, but they've always pushed the envelope to make these products more energy efficient, so they're more useful to us as Florida homeowners year-round. You know, we don't know when the next hurricane is going to be, but we certainly know when our next utility bill will come. So um, we're appreciative of them, and they, and they love the way we handle the customer service and the installation and the warranties they put together for us to make sure that homeowners never have to worry about anything again is really special. This one is all packaged up. Some lucky Florida homeowner is going to get this beautiful window. If you'd like more information about products like this, you can head over to FHAproducts.com. See you guys next time. Going on now. Buy one, get one half off store wide at Ashley Home Store's BOGO event. Buy this sofa, get the love seat half off. Buy this dresser and mirror, get the queen bed half off. Or pay no interest for five full years. Buy one, get one half off at Ashley Home Store. Whether it's time to get to work or to your weekend, make sure it's all quality time. Get to Nissan Truck Month and save big on a J.D. Power award-winning truck, including Titan, best in quality, and Frontier, best in dependability. Both with the tech you want and the quality you need. Hurry in to Nissan Truck Month today. Get 0% financing for 72 months. And for a limited time, get the Midnight Edition package at no extra charge. Name the top spot for veterans to live. That's a Duval thing. A dinosaur on Beach Boulevard. That's a Duval thing. And a morning team who invests time to tell you stories you won't get anywhere else. 
who help you get around traffic tie-ups with Time Saver Traffic and sends news for Jack's breaking news alerts to your phone so you can help keep your family safe. To make sure your day gets started right, you guessed it, The Morning Show on Channel 4, the local station. Going on now. Buy one, get one half off store wide at Ashley Home Store's BOGO event. Buy this sofa, get the love seat half off. Buy this dresser and mirror, get the queen bed half off. Or pay no interest for five full years. Buy one, get one half off at Ashley Home Store. When our house flippers bought this outdated single family home, they decided to renovate it and get it back on the market as quickly as possible. It was like a, a full house when we, when we, bought it, uh, so we had all that donated to different charities and uh, now we're, we have a clean slate. We bought it for around 90 and um, we're going to be putting in, let's say, 15-ish. Yeah. Um, and originally we thought we were going to be in the mid-hundreds based on the comparable properties around. Uh, one couple doors down just went up for sale after we closed. Um, I think for 178 and I think they got a couple um, over ask offers, so that was Good news for us. With hopes of capitalizing on those soaring sale prices, the team makes fast work of the kitchen demo. Unfortunately, they have to hit the brakes early in the day. You got a nasty surprise behind that dishwasher. Yeah, uh, to be expected, um, but there was some mold back there. There must have been a leak in the past. The moment they saw it, they just cut it out. I mean, within, you know, five minutes after they saw it, it was mm -hmm. gone and a new piece was up, same day. The drywall fix added a couple hundred dollars to an already tight budget and made the next decision even tougher. The original plan was to leave the soffits and install cabinets that would fit in the existing space. But general contractor Ruben Gutierrez thinks that's the wrong move and encourages Zach to spend a bit more to raise the ceiling. More, more yeah. modern with the taller cabinets. After some deliberating, budget conscious Zach gives Jenny some news she isn't expecting. We're gonna go ahead and raise the ceilings so we get the 36 inch height with the crown. <laughs> Surprise! Thankfully the bedrooms don't serve up any tough choices. Each of the three bedrooms will get new carpet and a fresh coat of paint. The entire house will get new doors including the front door which has some damage around the framing and won't close properly. The bathrooms are a bit more involved. While the tile surround is in great shape, it will require a refresh to match the new vanities, flooring, and countertops. After Jenny and Zach had already decided they would save money by reglazing the tiles instead of replacing them, Zach pushes his luck by trying to talk Jenny into salvaging the toilets. So we can't keep the toilet, right? No, we're definitely replacing the toilet. It's $100. Okay. I think it's a good idea. I do like the countertops, but we're going to have to go. Yeah, we can't so we'll, keep cheap in this stack. I think, we have, a good job I think here. we have a vanity just the size uh, from another house that we can put in. Right. That's a good idea. One budget-friendly plan they easily agree on is laying the new vinyl flooring on top of the existing tile. That will eliminate the cost of demo, and without the added mess in time, the install will only take half a day. Well, these are looking good. Yeah, especially going into that direction like you wanted it, give it more of yeah, a look Yeah, I thought with it. the longer run, it might look better. And then in the kitchen, too. It's going to run into the kitchen. Coming this way. And then also, I was even thinking in the bathroom, now it'll run parallel to the bathtub. To the bathtub, so this way is a nice, clean look. Yeah, gotcha. so. It's going to look nice. First time we've used this product. Yep. The team starts with an underlayment that will help prevent the grout lines and imperfections from showing through the wood look planks. At just two bucks a square foot, the materials will cost them less than a thousand dollars. Back in the kitchen, the soffits are out, the drywall is finished, and it's time to finalize the layout. Glad we raised it up. Yeah, it gives more space for the cabinetry because it's a small kitchen. We also gave it a dead corner cabinet up on top. So this way they can have some space to install you know, nice. more food. Uh, we'll help put the crown moldings up there. Give it a nice It'll go flush fresh to the ceiling. And... Yes. So basically everything will be set up. Fridge, range, and microwave. Perfect. And dishwasher right we'll be on the, the sink. Right side of the sink. Nice. I like it. It's going to look good. With the vinyl flooring and cabinet install expected to wrap by the end of the day, the rest of the work won't take much longer. We're basically just finishing up. with quarter rounds around the floors, touching up whatever needs to be touched up. It's just basically pressure washing the exterior of it, um, fixing some of the screens that was broken. 
So today will be a pretty much a finished project on my part. And then tomorrow we'll have some carpeting and hopefully the courts will be put on in the mm -hmm. bathroom. It's music to Zach's ears, as he knows finishing up and getting a property listed before there's a change in the real estate climate is important to the bottom line. Do you think you're hitting the market at the right time? If you're talking a couple weeks here yes. with the renovation? Yeah, uh, late spring, uh, early summer is supposed to be like the best time to, to sell a house because kids are starting to go into the summer breaks and parents are you know, looking at houses and know they have time to move before the school year starts. Mm -hmm. um, you get into August, September, and it's not a big shift, but um, you definitely have a lot of buyers that you okay. know, will slow down looking. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. I got to tell you, though, if I'm perfectly honest here, when you guys said you were going to have this done in 10 days, I was thinking to myself, I don't think so. We were, too. <laughs> <laughs> when faced with Hurricane Michael, one product stood strong. Our windows helped that house survive by withstanding an impact. The testing protocol calls for the product to be impacted by some form of windborne debris, flying debris. Then it has to get cycled with negative and positive pressure 4,500 times one way, 4,500 times the other way. And then the window still has to operate after that. Our windows were hit by windborne debris. The glass cracked, but the windows still operated. They did what they were supposed to do and protected the home. To learn more about custom window systems, visit cws.cc. Head to the Football Friday page each week on News4Jacks.com and vote for this week's Football Friday Game of the Week. Winners will be announced Thursday morning on The Morning Show. Game of the Week is sponsored by ViStar Credit Union. We never forget that it's your money. Our father always wanted us to make a difference. I was nine when he passed. We felt alone until Dad's lawyer showed up. He was more than just Dad's lawyer. He brought us hope. It's our turn to be more than just a lawyer. When your day is racing by, when there's an important local story that needs to be told, when you're ready to take a moment to catch up at the end of your day, watch News 4 Jacks every night at 5 and 6. Focused on breaking news who bring stories to life that you just can't get on a phone. Local voices who know what you care about, who are better prepared to explain why those stories matter to you. When you want a news team who understands why local is what matters most, watch News 4 Jacks every night starting at 5. This is our home. We do what we want, and so does the weather. The Weather Authority on News 4 Jax has the local forecast you need to keep doing you. Always watching, keeping you covered minute by minute, so inconvenient weather never takes you by surprise. Always tracking, mapping out major changes, so severe weather never gets in your way. This is our home, and the Weather Authority on News 4 Jax knows the weather better than anyone. Always watching, always tracking. You ready to get this house going? Yes, very demo's, excited. Demo's almost done. I know, it's so fast and it's gonna look so good. With 20 successful house flips under their belts, Zach and Jenny are racing to get their current project renovated and listed before a revved up real estate market takes a wrong turn. And the market's good right now? Market's amazing. We're trying to get as many in as possible for yeah. the next crash. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't anticipate a crash. An adjustment of some sort has to come because things have just been going up so fast. Um, but how much is the question? Right. So. Just ride the wave while yeah. it's still the going. <laughs> and then adjust and ride the downward wave and then adjust again and ride the upward wave. To maximize their profit while the market is up, Zach and Jenny decided to add a nice design detail in the kitchen. They were originally going to leave the soffits and install smaller cabinets but they ended up leveling the ceiling and taking the white shaker style all the way up. It adds storage and makes the room feel larger, something buyers will pay a premium for. But with the added cost in the kitchen, there isn't much left in the budget for landscaping. Jenny, we both loved this cactus. What happened? I know, I actually really love the cactus, but the shutters over here when they took them off, yeah, fell straight to the ground. Oh, it was no. like tied into it and then now it's at a million pieces. That, that's too bad because it was it was a very full grown. I mean, it was a, taller than the house and it had the nice red blossoms yeah. on it. It was really pretty. It was the only thing that was looking good at the front of this house. So. Oh, geez. All right. Well, that cactus is out yeah. of the picture, I it's guess. Gone. What are you going to do? Because this is pretty stark here yeah, in the front. It, it's very dead. So we're going to do a little flower bed across the front with some color, some plants. Over here, a little tree, a bit of mulch. It's a great yard. It's a huge front yard. The house is set back quite a yep. ways from the road. And then there's a big backyard. Huge backyard, yeah. So whoever buys this home can kind of come in and personalize yep. it. 
As the team finishes up the texturizing in the garage, Zach checks out the interior paint, making sure everything will look its best on open house day. With just some touch-ups before the photographer takes the listing pictures, this flip is nearing the finish line. I gotta tell you though, if I'm perfectly honest here, when you guys said you were gonna have this done in 10 days, I was thinking to myself, I don't think so. We were too. <laughs> <laughs> it was just over, I think it was about two weeks and we had uh, some things that kind of flowed past like cleaning and photographs and all that. So it really was like right around 10 days though for the bulk of the work. The bulk of it, yeah. That's incredible. So it was um, a very tight timeline and a tight budget too. Yeah. It was crucial that you didn't sort of out renovate yourself on this right. house so you could get the kind of profit that you wanted. So sure. what did you guys end up spending? Uh, I think we were right at 20,000, but it was mostly cosmetic here. There was actually like no major components. We didn't have to do a roof, AC, plumbing was already redone, no electrical work. Um, so we had a really good you know, house to start with. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate, it's open house day and Zach and Jenny's makeover gets great reviews. Put your dresser and television on this wall and then you get access to the, to the porch in the backyard from the bedroom. Beautiful. But could a money saving measure freeze them out of a top dollar sale price? Pretty much all new in here. Got yeah. uh, new cabinets. Whoa. No refrigerator. Uh... I stood outside assessing the situation. I knew it could be rough in there, but how rough? There was no way to know for sure. Hey, guys. Daddy, it's pink! But hey, a new house, it's a blank <laughs> canvas, and we got a great one, thanks to a really low mortgage rate from Navy Federal Credit Union. You pink. So she's a princess. You got a problem with that? Hoorah! Hoorah! Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. I love listening to live music surrounded by awesome people while hoisting a beer in my hand. Jacksonville, I'm talking about Oktoberfest. It's time to vote for Jack's Best. Head to newsforjacks.com slash jacksbest to vote for your favorite Oktoberfest event. Presented by Visit Jacksonville. When house flippers Zach and Jenny started renovating this rundown ranch style home, they gave themselves a 10 day timeline and a budget of 10 to $15,000. They've just wrapped up the last of the work, and it's time to see if they've played their cards right. It's just been a couple of weeks, and are you a little nervous? I mean, it's done, you did it quickly, but now it's time to put it on the market, right? Yeah, there was a house on the street, actually, that was uh, that went pending right away, and then I saw it come back on the market. So now we are gonna be competing with them for buyers um, right at the same price point. So um, that wasn't the best thing to see, but it, it went so quickly, we feel that there's a lot of potential out there. We're gonna be listing it for 179. Wow. So yeah, we, we didn't think we'd get that initially. When we first looked at our comps when we were buying it, we were thinking like actually just a little bit of rehab and going on at like 130 or something. Uh, we decided to do everything. And then we looked at the comps again and this one came up on the street at a higher price point than we thought we could get and they weren't remodeled. So we were like, oh, well, we'll ask that and see what happens. Okay, Jenny, what do you think? You were kind of in charge of the budget this time around. Are you gonna be happy with that? Yeah, no, if we got, I'm, if, I think we'll get close to this because it's special. Yeah. It's not like your normal average house out, especially in this market and this right. price range. And I think people yeah. appreciate it. Okay, I'll all right. So you guys are ready to list it. You just gotta take the pictures and put it on the market. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, good all luck. Right. Hi there. Hello. Welcome to the open house. I'm Zach. Thank you. Hi, I'm Scott. Good to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so we just finished a full remodel here. Um, got new floors, new kitchen, new Beautiful. bathrooms, new paint, uh, fully cleaned and ready to go. So I'm going to show you around. Yes, please. Great. Let's this start is... in the back here and we can work our way Beautiful. up front. So we got new vinyl floors. Um, these are waterproof, and so they've carried through the bathrooms and the kitchen and everything. It really looks like wood. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Show you the kitchen here. Oh, I love it. Nice. Uh, so, pretty much all new in here. You got yeah. uh, new cabinets. Whoa. No refrigerator? Uh, yeah, we were going to leave that one up to a buyer like yourself to decide uh, you know, if you want to bring your own, or we could potentially put one in if that uh, needed to be part of the deal. Okay, yeah, I think it'd be pretty important for my wife. Okay, good to know. But uh, new cabinets, new countertops, um, again, stainless steel oh, like appliances. This backsplash, is that yeah. what you call it? Yeah, yeah. So is this the master in here? This is the master, yep. On the other side of the house and the other bedrooms, which is nice. 
And then you got I'd a like full that. bath over there. Yeah. And then uh, walk-in closet mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, good-sized bedroom, so nice king bed in here. Um, put your dresser and television on this wall, and then you get access to the, to the porch in the backyard from the bedroom. Beautiful yard, I mean, huge yard. And it's great I like, size. I like the landscape coming up, nice and colorful, and yeah. uh, very good curb appeal, and uh, good good size. Yeah, I mean, this it is, is this is just area. right for my family. Great. Well, I'm glad you like it. So, uh, what are you asking? Uh, 179. And does it 179 include a refrigerator? Uh, we can make that work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Well, I'll go talk to my wife. And good deal. See what we can come up with. You have some good news. I do, yeah. We got a, uh, got a contract pretty quickly. So we listed it on Friday. Um, had, I think, three showings over the weekend, and one of them wrote a contract Sunday night. So, yeah. It Are was, you kidding me? It was quick. Over asking price, too. So I think they, uh, they really liked it. The realtor said they looked at about four or five houses that day, and this one stood out, so they didn't want to lose it and uh, put in a strong offer. So they did ask for a fridge. Uh, well, which, which we were glad to give them. If you're getting over ask, you can afford it, right? Absolutely, yeah. So let's break down the financials. You guys had 85 to 90 invested in it. You in had the purchase, some, yeah. Right, closing costs when you bought it. Exactly. Right? And then we put about 20, just over 20 into the rehab, um, which again was double our initial budget, but we asked a lot more than we anticipated um, as well. So. We sold it for, uh, the contract's for 185000 so, Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a great, great deal. And your profit with all the expenses subtracted out is going to be? I think right around sixty-five. dollars so, yeah. Congratulations, Appreciate man. It. That is awesome. Our investors are happy. We're happy. So I things bet. are good. On to the next, huh? On to the next. Hey guys, we're here with Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates today in Ocala, Florida, where more than 90% of the hurricane impact glass in the entire state is made. Thanks for being here with us today, Tat. I'm glad I could be here. This has been a great day. This glass goes into the windows that you install around the state, correct? Yes, definitely. A lot of the windows that we do, and, and for over a decade now, we've had a great relationship with this manufacturing facility, so it's been a great, great partnership. We've had a tour of the facility today. It's pretty incredible. They have created a superior product here. We love the relationship we have with custom window systems. Their attention to detail and making a great product and making sure that the families and homes in Florida are safe is, is second to none. We're actually standing right here by some glass that has just been insulated or is getting insulated. Is that right? Yeah, these just came out. I, I believe these were just filled with the argon gas. These are hurricane impact glass units that have uh, the argon gas as well as the solar max technology, which reflects the heat away to make the home uh, that much more comfortable. It is fascinating to see the edge of this. And you have basically the three layers on the outer edge. You have the glass and then in the middle, that's the layer that really is crucial, right? The hurricane impact glass that's also energy efficiency has the layer of impact protection, which is glass with a PVV vinyl inner layer in between with another piece of glass. Then it has the sealer, which has the argon gas and then a sacrificial piece of glass as well. So you really, most folks don't see how thick that unit is and why it provides so much energy efficiency. Yeah, when you see it like this and you feel it, just the heaviness, the sturdiness of it, you can be assured that you're going to be safe in a hurricane. Custom window systems have been on the uh, innovative side for over a decade now where they've really been pushing energy efficiency. So um, they do a fantastic job. Great product and you are one of their top installers around the state. So that's a win-win for the homeowner. It sure is. All right. Thanks so much. Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates.